the reason you've been having such a hard time understanding cryptocurrency is because it's a terrible name. Yes, I said it. Let's break it down. Crypt means to hide. Currency means notes and coins. Does that make it hidden notes and coins? That couldn't be further from the definition. And that's why it is so confusing. When information is hidden, it is called being encrypted. So when you're using WhatsApp to send and receive messages between your friends, those messages are encrypted. But should we call it the crypto app? That's ridiculous. It's essentially a messenger that you use to transfer messages. And that's why cryptocurrency, it just uses cryptography to secure the system, but that's not what the currency is. So then what should we call this money? Well, in my head, I call it peer-to-peer -peer money or decentralized money or no banks and governments involved money. Once I cleared that in my head, it was much easier for me to understand how it works and whether or not I should invest in it. Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain to you what cryptocurrency is and how it works in plain English. I'm a software engineer and I did research for hours and hours so you didn't have to. I'll also show you step by step how to invest into cryptocurrency. So if you did make that decision, you'll know exactly where to buy. And if you stick around till the end, I'll show you how to get some free cryptocurrency. So let's get into what cryptocurrency is and why you should even care about it. So as of now, if you wanted to send $10 to your friend, you would probably give them cash, government issued, or use Venmo, that is an app that is an intermediary, or just go to a bank and transfer it into their account. So all of these methods of transferring money need some middleman. Let's now see how this new money system works. Let's assume you're three friends who decided not to use the traditional cash, and we'll use Bitcoin as an example. So Tony owes AJ five Bitcoins, AJ owes Elizabeth 10 Bitcoins, Elizabeth owes Tony, 20 bitcoins. You're just writing things down as transactions are happening. You are not really exchanging any sort of money. These transactions keep getting added into a list and now this becomes a ledger. This ledger really is what is the core of cryptocurrency. We should call it ledger currency. Imagine that such a ledger existed, not between two or three people, but between the entire population of the planet. We would need somebody to maintain this ledger and make sure that it is safe and secure. It would be a big problem if there was only one person doing this job. What if they died? The entire world's money system would collapse. And that's why we need millions and millions of people maintaining these ledgers. That's the exact reason why you'll hear the words peer-to-peer -peer or decentralized a lot. So now, to keep this ledger secure, we have to have multiple copies in multiple locations and many people verifying it. And by multiple, I mean millions. This is a good point where I should explain what blockchain technology is. So many times I hear people interchanging the words blockchain and cryptocurrency, but they are not the same. Blockchain is what keeps the cryptocurrency secure. Every time a new transaction happens, it's added as a new block to this blockchain and all the previous blocks in the chain have to be verified to be legitimate. Since there are millions of computers verifying it, it is really, really hard to tamper with. And that's why it makes the system very secure. The people who are verifying these blocks are also called miners. And in the case of Bitcoin, they are rewarded with Bitcoin every time they verify these ledgers. So to recap, cryptocurrency is simply a record of IOUs of the entire world. No single authority controls it. But now the biggest question, should you invest in cryptocurrency? The answer to that is, it depends. Do you think that cryptocurrency can be a better technology compared to the old money that we have. For example, in the US dollar case, last year the government printed one-fifth of the total amount of US dollars. Now you can imagine that that can cause inflation and that worries me. So my stance on it is I think of it as an asset diversification strategy and so far I'm only putting a small amount of my net worth. So you can play around with one to five percent of your net worth and really invest in it automatically every month. Dollar cost averaging is a strong investment strategy and you don't have to think about what price you are buying Bitcoin or Ether or any of the cryptocurrencies at. The key to the game is consistency. So if you consistently invest in an asset and have multiple types of them in the same category, in this case, you have consistently invested in multiple types of coins. The two largest coins by volume by trade today are Bitcoin and Ether. There are some new coins that have gained popularity, but there are also many coins that are being endorsed by celebrities and 
they are pumping and dumping. So you have to be very careful and do your own due diligence. I would only recommend you to look into the coins that are providing real world value. For example, Helium is a network of Wi-Fi nodes. So it is providing real value and real Wi-Fi, but making the whole system decentralized. Now let me show you how I invest in cryptocurrency step by step. I'll be using the app Gemini and the other popular app that you can use to securely buy a cryptocurrency is called Coinbase. I have my account set up with Gemini and that's why I want to use that as an example. So let me start the screen recording. Here I am on Gemini and I'm going to show you how I buy my cryptocurrency. You can see that the top currencies over here are Bitcoin and Ether. They are also known as the blue chip cryptocurrencies because they are the most heavily traded currencies here. But today I want to buy a new coin. It's called Uniswap right here. So I just hit trade and I say buy and just once I'm going to buy worth a thousand dollars i have my account already set up here so i'll just do a swipe to confirm i have bought a thousand dollars worth of uniswap currency to give you an idea about what uniswap is it's just a decentralized exchange that uses liquidity pools to make markets instead of a typical order book i hope i made cryptocurrency a little bit easier to understand for you from here on it is up to you to research whether you want to invest in it or not but it might still be a great idea to keep educating yourself about this massive change in technology that is about to hit us in every element of life be it money be it finance education or any of the things that are being run by institutions can be decentralized via the blockchain peer-to-peer -peer technology. Thank you for sticking till the end. And as promised, I am sharing $10 worth of Bitcoin. Just check the description box below and download Gemini. Once you make your first trade, you'll get $10 of free Bitcoin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing value-loaded videos like these. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.